Okay, this is lesson 32 in uh, uh, TCL programming, and this is Rani Ahmed with you, uh, the master of TCL, you know, because um, nobody teaches TCL on YouTube but him, okay. <laughs> so, um, in this lesson, we're going to talk about sockets, and uh, sockets are used mainly to... Uh, to connect two programs together over the network okay so you can send data uh, between two two programs over uh, the network therefore you're connecting two computers and then getting the uh, the, the the both uh, uh, sides uh, or both uh, software okay programs okay each one on a different computer and it's gonna going to be run so the uh, picture uh, that you are seeing now uh, is a diagram that uh, explains how sockets are uh, defined a socket you know always there is a, a place on the wall whereas there's an outlet that outlet that you get uh, electricity from okay and it pours you electricity okay but here also there is a socket but the difference is that uh, this 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 very same socket it does not only pour it only intakes okay so it takes to itself okay and it uh, swallows for itself some data and it sends it again over the cable so those are like when I create uh, or I, when I make a, a serving software okay and by the way this lesson is just about uh, lesson uh, the sockets over the server side we're not going to talk about client side yet okay because server side is the hardest part so uh so when you create a serving uh program okay that accepts that that's supposed to accept data itself can also send data to the clients okay so the client software okay or to the connection that's connecting to the server okay so if you if i want to do at this communication I have to create a, uh, a socket using a command named socket in TCL we see it and once you create a socket the socket will look like a file okay we know that when you when you use files you will have to uh, get uh, a variable which is the file descriptor here is the socket descriptor which we call it in, uh, in both ways the file and the socket a channel okay so the channel is just the cable over which you send data over it okay so you should imagine that uh, you ha you should imagine and take the uh, channel okay as the cable itself okay but because in communication it's uh, duplex okay full duplex you can you can ta take and send at the same time okay the channel can be used in that way so we will be using the uh, puts command and the gets command in a way that I'm taking or sending over this channel okay instead of saying uh, puts to std uh, out and uh, gets from stdn okay uh, I'll be using the channels instead okay now so the server also will have as we said a socket and also the client must have a socket otherwise you as a server you will not be connecting or be connected to the uh, client okay and uh, when i create when i create a socket and I tell that software that your socket is a serving socket okay it will give me the opportunity to write the code for that uh, socket as a server the when I call that socket it will call uh, a function whatever you name it but that function will have three uh, variables first the channel the channel name second the client IP and the third is the client port you have to set them in that order so the channel then the IP of the clients Okay, the one the the address of the guy who's connecting connecting to you to this to your server and then his port. Okay. 
So at which uh, port that this client is going to listen to the server's uh, replies. Okay. So let's go to the code and I'll show you how it works. So as I said, the client must have a socket and the server must have a socket. But we here in this lesson are going to talk about just this side, which is the server side. And we're going to use a command which is named telnet or maybe we can use our browser and tell you how the browser and the telnet commands will be communicating with our server. Okay, and therefore you can test your server the way you like it. Okay. Now, and I, those arrows are just to tell you that the, uh, the squares here, the blue-red squares, are just sockets. Okay? Now, this is my code. Okay? Now, our program is going to work this way. First, I have, uh, like, when somebody connects, okay, the server counts... Uh, and it adds his connection uh, adds him as a guy who's connected which means another way the server's co counting how many people has connected uh, to him okay so let's see so whenever somebody uh, connects to the to the server okay at the port that i decided that the server will be listening and waiting at that port number at that number okay you, uh, your software or your server here will always uh, count that connection as a one so you're talking here about the number of hits to that server okay the number of times okay it was connected to it so or it ha how many times it has uh, been connected to it okay so um first of all i set i which is my counter here okay this is the number of bits uh, set i as one okay so i start with number one then before i start with this i have this procedure i must hide it for now so i tell you uh, where my program should exactly start it must start from here okay socket and i tell that socket that it is a server okay then there here i have the procedure that will be fired okay it's like the button commands and the all the tk commands okay you know when you have an event it will fire that uh, and run that uh, function be attached to the button click or the mouse click or the mouse movement or whatever okay or the key click here instead of a key click i have a connection okay so whenever I, somebody connects to the server, it uh, calls the function, which here named it as server. So it will call this function or procedure. Okay. And I, as a, as a client, I must have had set my connection to call the server at this port number, which is 10,000. Okay. And as I told you, whenever you create uh, or call a server function, you must have the first three as in this order first the channel then the client address then the client port okay now whenever i connect what will happen is first of all of course i must call i okay so i is a global thing because i wanna uh, like uh, keep track of how many times the server uh, keep track of the number of connections to the connections to the server okay that has been done to the server so uh, and i have to tell you something another th another thing is that when somebody connects okay he fires the server as if somebody other if another one i mean somebody else fi uh, connects to the server he fires the server uh, function again okay he both uh, firings or both uh, running of the events or the connection events as uh, like they are independent okay maybe both can happen at the same time but of course because it must go sequentially because this is the queue thing inside the network 
so first one will connect it will uh, do its job the second one will connect and it will do the same job but with different uh, output or data okay so here I'm saying that I have the server okay which I fire when somebody connects to the to, uh, to the server now what I'm saying here is that I will first get what's what does what my client had sent me okay using this channel so I'm reading what's inside the cable just imagine that I'm holding a cable inside my hands okay within my hands so um, uh, so I'm saying uh, gets the channel okay so I take the cable and I read what's inside it and I save my, my uh, my characters or my data or all the bytes that have been read okay from that cable okay and the variable named data okay so you get a long string this way of course you must know what's inside it so you can analyze it okay next thing is I say puts the data okay so whatever I get from that cable I just uh, dump it on my terminals screen okay so uh, here I'm reading from the cable here I'm I'm displaying it on the terminal on the command line okay now our program is already run but it doesn't show anything yet because it does it did not ha it's waiting I mean uh, for any thing coming from the channel so if I say let's say for example let's start with writing uh, running it's better okay so don't imagine too much Um, so I say telnet and by the way the, the IP here I'm going to use the address of the server will be 127.0.0.1 okay and I'm calling the port number 10,000 understand the three zeros is 10,000 now why 127.0.0.1 when I want to connect to uh, a serving software okay that is like uh, on the same uh, machine as the client's software you must use this IP or otherwise it has another name which is the local host okay which is the same machine's name okay so if the client and the server coincide you use this IP okay 127.0.0.1 okay this is for testing purposes now I will call Telnet. Telnet is a uh, like a simple client to do command line uh, communication and it's plain text uh, being sent to the server. Okay, so here now I must send data. The server is still waiting over here. Okay, because I said first thing gets what's inside the channel, then I say puts from what's inside the channel what did I get from the channel so if I say Rani was here okay typing from the client and here let's say I will rename the title here I say its name server so you can read it okay now here, if I press enter, first thing, it will read it, dump the, the data that I sent from Telnet, okay? Then it will say also that the connection from client address registered, okay, which is the IP 127.0.01, localhost IP, okay, will be written over here with this line, connection from 120, blah, this uh, has been registered as a connection. Then, uh, sorry. okay and this is my server so here yeah, let's make it always on top okay so what will happen is look with me notice I press enter the sentence that I've sent from this one it has been copied to this one okay if this one the telnet is on a different computer okay then other than the server for example you can test it within a VMware both uh, like two virtual machines 
okay both are on a different IP so if you connect them together okay you see that from uh, from two different IPs okay not on the same machine they are co connecting okay and sending that data okay and I did not use any mouse no keyboard no nothing you just send it from this program to the other program so this is a, a pure communication pure uh, networking thing okay next thing is you notice that the server did not stop okay it's still waiting why because I said that wait forever okay so it must wait forever unless I press ctrl C for the server and to, or close the terminal of the server and it will disconnect so okay so now what I'm what I said through the server code that I have to put on the cable which is my channel here okay the number of hits now I started with set I as one so this is one now okay by reading it through global and increment will increment it after I say that the number of connections is one because the first time I did is just one so the next time I do it is the next time and by the way I'm saying also uh, close the channel also you know just when you finish uh, this uh, when you finish the firing okay of the server uh, procedure or the procedure name server okay you should stop uh, doing anything okay and close the socket okay and disconnect so you're forcing the uh, telnet okay to disconnect <coughs> so this is another time okay so this is another step or maybe trial or test let's say okay from Rani to 10,000 okay so you've got here also number of hits too so the server is now sending you number of hits too because I said puts okay I said puts to the channel so it puts to the channel the number of hits that I that I is now okay which is two here so uh, now the server is now sending to telnet okay because when I say puts to the channel I'm saying through from the code of the server that puts on the cable who's putting the server putting to whom the client so therefore you're getting that uh, uh, data which is the number of, uh, of hits which is number two here and as long as I connect once and twice and thrice okay it will do uh, an incrementation over the uh, number I okay so that's all about uh, our uh, server software so therefore from now you can st you can try to make your own uh, chat uh, chat software okay if you don't want to close the server uh, close the channel okay you can uh, make your own uh, chat software between two persons okay? okay i hope you like it thanks for watching and please subscribe and uh, comments please